time. Columbus Crew finally are opening up their brand new downtown stadium, Lower Dot Com Field. And you know what I had to do. Your boy's going. I'm going to enjoy the day out there. And I'm going to bring you guys along. Again, this is a massive step up from Matt Free Stadium. If you saw some of my previous vlogs, you know what the old stadium looks like. And if you haven't seen anything about this new stadium, be ready to be amazed. I saw this stadium in November of last year when it was still under construction, just a bunch of steel beams everywhere. And I have not seen it fully complete in person. What I've heard is it's pretty breathtaking. It's world-class and I can't be more excited. Not only do we just have the game today though, there's a march to the match that we will be participating in. And if we're lucky, I'm really hoping we are, but my man, Zach Steffen, former Columbus Crew goalkeeper, now Manchester City keeper, will be there leading the march. So maybe I can wiggle around, maybe see him. I'm hoping, I love the guy, so that'll be awesome. But even if that doesn't happen, there's a huge day in store. I've been thinking about it all week. No offense to our former home, but maybe it wasn't the best soccer experience around in America. The field really was just a glamorous high school field, it felt like. It was very wide open. No sound resonated with the stadium. But that's all going to change, and I'm so excited to see it happen. I'm telling you, soccer in Columbus has the perfect chance to really go off. So join me down there. Um, hopefully you see a little bit of what it's like going to lower.com field and it's going to be my first time going. So if we run into any trouble, you'll see it here first. I'll see you then. Jones taking on Apple. Jones driving for the byline. Lovely cross, and it's in! And the Revolution have signaled their intent to ruin the party here. Jones, who's cross set up this man Buchanan, who has a lot of space, room to roam for Tejon Buchanan, and it is 2 0 New England! Success rate of over 96% as Zardes picks up this pass on the edge of the area! Oh, yes! A 
exciting half of soccer, right? But if you can't tell, I'm not at the stadium right now. I'm recording this in post because I'm still trying to get the hang of slash the confidence to talk to a camera in public. Especially now with the packed stadium, I'm touching knees with a stranger, and I don't feel quite ready to whip out a camera in front of everyone. But I do know that some commentary adds more dimensions to these match day vlogs, so I'm looking to try to add that in a little bit later. But for my post-match halftime thoughts, Columbus came out firing. In the first 15 minutes of the match, I saw more attacking progress from this team than I've seen all year. I think we got a little bit unlucky because that first revolution goal was against the run of play in my opinion, but Tejan Buchanan was definitely burning us up and down that side, and he was involved in both of their goals in that first half. Luckily though, Zardes pulled us in within one before the half, so now let's see how it all finished. Dragon left and right, and he's offsetting the balance of any midfielder. Oh, Andrew Farrell, it's a disaster for him, and it's a goal! Andrew Farrell with a gift for the hosts! As you can tell, I'm home now from the game, and wow. That stadium did not disappoint. The atmosphere in there was about as I expected, again, with the roof and everything. Sound bouncing off the walls, the Nordeka singing it out. You gotta love them, give them props. And the seats weren't too bad, kind of right behind the bench. And after the game, we had a lot of the players coming up into the stands. Jonathan Mensa's family was sitting kind of close to us. So he came by, Harrison Awful came by. And overall, I think today I just really, really saw how close this Columbus crew, you know, atmosphere is. Um, we're not the biggest team, you know, it's a small, you know, smaller market city, but you know, the fans and the players, it's really just one big group. Before the game, I was just walking around the stadium and Frankie Hayduk, score of a goal in the 2008 MLS Cup where Columbus crew won, was just, you know, walking around doing his thing. I got to meet him, Zach Steffen. I met him at the March as you have probably seen earlier. Dante Washington, a player in the late 90s and the early 2000s for Columbus, who won the US Open Cup in 2002. Well, he was walking the street. I saw him, said hi. It's just like so many people I'm just seeing who I watch on TV or I've seen on TV and it really was an unbelievable experience. Now for the game, I mean, we're playing basically the best opposition you can in the East right now in the New England Revolution. Carlos Hill pulling the strings. Farrell in the center back position, holding it down, which, you know, obviously he kind of had an oopsie today. And Matt Turner also maybe wasn't having his best game, but besides that, again, you're playing the best team in the East and going two nil down and being able to crawl back two two. And at the end, we should have scored. We should have pulled it away. But at the end, you know, they put up some great blocks with those like three rapid shots right, right at the final whistle. So at the end of the day, what more can I really ask for? We didn't lose at the end of the day, so that's good. We scored a goal, so we got off the mark in the new stadium. I met some players, a big march to the match too. It was a great experience. And now the next few weeks, it gets a little choppy. We're missing a lot of players for the Gold Club. Jossie Zardes is going out too with the U.S. men's national team. So we're kind of really short on a striker position right now. Bradley Wright Phillips, he's injured. We got a young uh, guy we drafted, Miguel Berry, who will kind of come into the fold. But other than that, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm going to be in Columbus again, obviously. So if there's anything at the new stadium, maybe you wanted to see that maybe I couldn't show too well, you know, maybe I can try to get that in the next video. And hopefully, you know, later on in the line, I'll be able to secure some tickets in the Nordeck and I'll be able to show you guys what's going on in there. Their TIFO system kind of messed up at the stadium today, so we didn't get to see the hard work they put in. But, you know, the big painting TIFOs, those are always good to see. So I'm excited to see that next time we go out there. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.